everybody. It's my turn to read our story again today. So good morning Joshua, good morning Abby, good morning Aoife, good morning Oscar, good morning Riley, good morning Ben, good morning Faye, good morning Isabella, good morning Barack, good morning Chris, good morning Ruben Murphy, good morning Ruben Graham, good morning Lucy, good morning Elena, good morning Harper, good morning Kaya and good morning Rona. So before we read our story today, there's three things that we have to do. Can you remember what they are? That's right. So the first thing is we have to be sitting on our bottoms and put our hands on our knees. Good job. Second thing that we have to do is have good listening. So put our listening ears on. Well done. And the third thing is have good looking. So we're looking at me and our story. So today we're going to read a story called Giraffes Can't Dance. And this, this was written by two men, one called Guy and one called Giles. So let's see what happens in our story today. <clears throat> Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh, look, you see him falling over. Now, every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really, really bad. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lion danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor. But the lion saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Poor Gerald. Then he found a little clearing and looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket. He'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived where Gerald boogied and watched him in quite a trance. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever seen. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twisted round and finished with a boy. And there's all the animals that have came to see him. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. 
We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Wasn't that a great story? I really, really enjoyed that story today. So if we think really, really hard back to our story that I just read, do you know what animal Gerald was? He has a really, really big long neck and he's yellow and orange. That's right. Gerald was a giraffe, wasn't he? But what was it that Gerald, he couldn't do? He didn't think that he could do it. And all the other animals made fun of him. You're right. They said that Gerald couldn't dance. Sure he couldn't. But Gerald could at the end. Because an animal, a little, little tiny animal, it's green. This is a hard one. It's a green animal and he's very small. And he played the violin. If I show you him here. Do you know what this animal is called? This animal is called a cricket and he helped Gerald to be able to dance, didn't he? Because he said, it doesn't matter what you look like as long as you find music that you love. Wasn't that a great story? Well, I really enjoyed that story and I hope that you did as well. And I hope to see all your lovely photographs that you're sending through to us. We love seeing what you're doing at home and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye everybody.